It's the best hood channel on YouTube. And we in East Side Long Beach, North Side, West Side Long Beach, Carson, Wilmington. And we back in the streets to give y'all them true hood politics. We tapped in, giving y'all the most deadliest gangs in these sections. East Side Rolling 20 Crip, Baby Insane Crip, Brick Boy, East Side Longo. Man, it's a whole lot of hoods that we about to touch on. And you know, we've been down for a little minute, man. You two try to pin a little case on us, but guess what? We beat that body though. We back on YouTube with it. Stay solid. Rap news, street politics. And you know, like we always say on every video, this list ain't in order, man. We ain't going number 10 is harder than number one. Number one, harder than number 10. Again, just be thankful that y'all made the list and y'all hood is out there putting in work. Because every video is some hoods mad that they not on here. You know what I'm saying? But again, not in any order. Let's go. But we going to start Northside Long Beach, Brick Boy Crip. What's up? How your name killer, my nigga bang, nobody died. And it was up with the suckers, he wasn't trying to slide. About them niggas in the 50s, they gon' terrorize. High fight a homie every time before a homicide. We just got the drop on a nigga, we finna back though. Y'all that don't know, job below from this hood, Hitman 50 from this hood. They got a large project called the Carmelitos, but they hood really stretched from like Orange to Long Beach between Market and Delamo. Now for y'all that know Jabalo, man, y'all done seen that smut that he had on his name, man. That little paperwork he had between him, I believe Hitman 50, Wack 100 was involved. Wack said this nigga, Wack said that. Do y'all know Wack co-sign the whole fucking rap? Takashi. Yeah, that famous little snitch. Record then leave. Yeah, that pussy little bitch. I'm really from the bricks. Yeah, I give you for some chips. My second day, I'm on my head and meet it with the crib. You know, we see this mama come on here trying to plead his case on why he was in PC. I said that Jabba PC'd up. Okay, Hitman called Vegas, Nevada, Nevada, uh, Vegas and called the facility and asked them, was Jabba PC'd up or whatever. Y'all got all of that, right? But this uh, this kind of was a blow to the Brick Boy hood because Jabba Loke was the face of that. You know what I'm saying? Brick Boy wasn't out to the world until Jabba Loke came out with Snoop. So him going down with that paperwork a couple years ago, you know, it was kind of like big news in their hood. And we seen him man 50 get out not too long ago, a few months ago. He's still rapping, doing this thing. But is he still in this hood? I don't know. Hey, niggas ain't putting no smut on his name. But apparently him and Jabba Loke, I think, went down for some shit. You know what I'm saying? And Hitman 50 was the one that put that that put that put jacket on Jabba Loke. You know what I'm saying? That paperwork jacket. So, hey, Jabba Loke doing time right now again. He was just in high desert not too long ago. Went back, I think, for a little flock. But when Jabba Loke get out, it's going to be real interesting to see how Brick Boy Crip treat him. You know what I'm saying? If he's still with that business over there, if he's still representing that hood. You know what I'm saying? Now, I'm going to say, man, it's a couple hoods that's really cracking on the north side of Long Beach. Not too many, man. If y'all go to the north side of Long Beach, it's closer to Compton. But it's a couple hoods over there that some of y'all favorite rappers, I'm not going to say favorite, but some of y'all rappers y'all know is from north side of Long Beach. And they hood ain't really jumping like that. You know, Vince Staples, OT Genesis, they from a set called Naughty Nasty Gangsters. Y'all heard Vince talk about Ramona Park. I'm going to keep it real. It ain't too much action from them dudes over there on the north side. And, and this is the same hood that put YBN Namir on. YBN Namir is from Naughty Nasty Gangster Crip. I think I seen this dude like in a hood day or something like that. They said he was from their hood. YBN Namir, you already know that. I'm from Birmingham, Alabama. I'm not going to bullshit, but a nigga is really going to East California. Let's be honest, nigga. I'm from North Long Beach. I'm from 2NGC. Like, bro, I, I really... So you got YBN Nightmare, Joey Fats, OT Genesis, Vince Staples. These niggas had a music recruiting class in that motherfucker. They should have had a step team. Now this that shit, man. These the party crips. This is what these niggas been talking about, the party cripping. These niggas is doing it right here, naughty nasty, they not outside. And you know why I say this is cause these niggas ain't playing ball for real. If Ramona Park right on the Bispo under Artesia, Mac Mafia is under Harden and it's on 67. Now, 67 going to be closest to Ramona Park. Mac Mafia and Naughty Nasty beef with each other. So why we see all Mac Mafia beefing with Southside Colonia Flores on 67, but Naughty Nasty not playing ball on 67. And it's literally two, two streets up. They too busy rapping. You know what I'm saying? And a lot of things, it's another thing, you know, when you see these niggas 
from their hood, Vince Staples, Joey Fast. Why they ain't pushing that line? Why they not telling y'all what hood they from? Nobody want to admit they on that losing team. You know what I'm saying? But enough about these dudes, man. We still on number 10, the big boy Chris, man. We just had to say that for y'all. You know what I'm saying? But coming back down west from these niggas hood down Artesia, head down on Atlantic, you back in that brick boy crib hood. Like all crib gangs in Long Beach, they beefing with the Longos. What's close to the brick boys is going to be Northside Longo. Now that Northside Longo is probably like the smallest section of the Longo hood, but they still over there and they beefing with the brick boys. And like we spoke about with, with Vince Staple hood and uh, OT Genesis hood, Naughty Nasty, they beefing with Brick Boy. They beefing with Jabba Lok now. You know what I'm saying? And that's why we seen Jabba Lok in Ramona Park. They had that little video going on over there. But like I said, man, I'm going to keep it real. Naughty Nasty is not outside. These dudes is also beefing with the babies. Now, of course, we touching on the babies. If y'all don't know who the babies is, Insane Crib Gang. We're going to touch on them. But they beefing with them dudes too. Now, eat like I said, the north side and the east side of Long Beach is far away from each other. But these dudes are still gonna beef insane and brick boy. And they also beefing with Black Bandit. Again, we're gonna touch on Black Bandit too. 4X, Black Bandit Crip on the east side of Long Beach. Brick boys beefing with them dudes too. But like I said, on the north side, this is a reputable hood over there. They got a reputable section. They inside and outside the projects in north side Long Beach tuck right up under the 91 on the east side of the 710 again y'all go like northwest y'all in compton so this real close to that section that main click is on 52nd and if y'all find yourself in the carmelitos man it's like a real big loop and you know what i'm saying it's not too crazy you know some projects is tough to get inside we're gonna touch on something that's kind of like you know they got a guard post and all that to get up in there but the carmelitos is mostly like a like a normal project when you pop up in you know what i'm saying it's more like an oval so you can roll through that whole project in one whoop. You know what I'm saying? So y'all watch out for the Carmelitos coming off orange headed towards the Lamo if y'all coming off that 91. But we did see a body over here. Now this is like right outside Brick Boy Hood in that north side Longo Hood. We seen a black male get killed on Lyndon and Lewis. Now, of course, we can't do, we can't say too much about who did what, who, you know what I'm saying? That whole situation. But right outside Brick Boy Hood in the Inamingo Hood, the north side Longos, black man killed over there. Now, this is the last couple years, you know what I'm saying? All these murders we're going to be talking about was the last, like, three years in these hoods. So, y'all stay tuned. Now, before we get to number nine, we're going to talk about a hood that's on the north side. Not necessarily on the list, you know what I'm saying? But they supposed to be beefing with Naughty Nasty, Mac Mafia Crip. Now, we didn't see these dudes on both sides of Naughty Nasty hood, mostly on 67. Now, 67 is on the other side of Artesia when y'all talking about being off the 91, coming down towards east side of Long Beach. These dudes right up under the 91 freeway. And they ain't been seen over there beefing with a little essay hood over there. But in their hood, it was a black dude killed on Downey and Harden and a Hispanic milk killed on 67. But Mac Mafia, like I said, they're not number nine, but they 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 get spoke on, you know what I'm saying? Especially compared to who the enemigos is. They gotta be spoken on the north side of Long Beach. Not too much jumping on this side of Long Beach. And, but this is a hood that's still cracking. But number nine, we got to come down to the east side real quick. East side, baby, insane crib gang. We're on the east side of Long Beach right now. We on Fifth Street to be exact. It's the worst street. These are my bros right here. We gang. We the worst out here in Long Beach. You feel me? Yeah. Worst street. These my niggas right here. Y'all never know Fifth something. Street, nigga. Worst you know, street. street. Fuck. Yeah. 23rd Street. We all from insane crib. That's the worst. Oh, shit. Like, between the babies and the rolling 20s these are the most notable hoods coming out of long beach back in the day if y'all from la y'all from california y'all know snoop trey d goldie now trey d was from insane from out that east side of click but some other dudes y'all know that's from insane dw flame Savvy third, them is real notable names in the rap game right now. They from babies. Now babies is damn near beefing with everybody in the city. But oddly enough, they real tight with the Hoovers, man, to form that Hussein. Y'all done seen Jap over there. Y'all seen Treyway dealing with these dudes. They have a long standing beef with the east side, north side, and west side Longos. And for sure, the Rolling 20 Crips. They also not cool with the West Coast 80s. 
and they're not cool with the Black Bandits. And we already told y'all they're not cool with Brick Boy either. Now, this is a Gangsta Crip set. They main clicks is on 21st, 23rd, Lewis. And you can also see these dudes on PCH between Locust and Pine. Hey, man, that Mike's Liquor right there on PCH is cracking. It's like a trifecta of hoods that be right there between the Rolling 20s, Baby Insane, and the Eastside Longo on PCH, Mike's Liquor. Y'all stay up out of there. It's cracking. Now, last year, it was two brothers that got killed. It was a real notable killing in Hollywood. Both them dudes from Baby Insane. I think their name was uh, Tiny Two-Face, Baby Smooth. Both them dudes was from Babies. Them dudes that got killed in Hollywood. But in comparison to the north side, this is the gutter of Long Beach right here. The real east side. From here all the way down to like 10th, it's cracking. It's a bunch of hoods right here. Like I said, these is gangsters. They repping that Trey car. And between them and the Longos, they, they close to being the most hated in Long Beach. Now, I done told y'all, they off of PCH between Locust and Pine. We done seen a black female killed over here on PCH and Pine recently. Now, this last couple years, but it's still cracking in this section. Now, since Savvy Third got out, he been applying real pressure. I left the meat for so old. I'm really three time in East Side, and I know Goldie Loke. I know the I stay over broke. Oh, no theatricals. I'm with some animals. He solo pumping gas. Who we got one? Send him to the top. He got a top done. I walk him down by the mile with this shotgun. I don't keep waiting, nigga. Hold we on. seen DW Flame trying to get his little podcasting on. You know what I'm saying? We didn't see him on no jumper. We didn't see him with a couple niggas. You know what I'm saying? It was a little weird situation he had with uh with Whack 100. Try to have you fuck my wife. You will fuck the shit out of his wife. I wouldn't. That's the problem. Beat up. He looks up. like he might he might do some permanent damage. He's a big guy, you know? <laughs> Back. <laughs> Back. <laughs> but these two dudes is really putting on for their hood. And the whole the whole Long Beach got some real reputable members in the rap game, as they always have. Y'all remember 213, Snoop, Nate Dog, Warren G. Long Beach has always had some dope ass rappers coming out the city, and it still ain't stopped. But number eight on the list, we going to a hood that they've historically always been known to beef with. We told you about the East Siders, Trady from Insane, Goldie Loke, and Snoop Dogg, Rolling 20 Crip. Okay, you use your 20K or not, nigga? Uh -huh. Okay, nigga. Fuck, fuck. Now these dudes is really outside on 19th and Cedar, but man, they hood is huge. They got multiple clicks, 21st, 20th, Young 20 Lokes, 19th, 15th, and 10th Street. Like I said, these dudes always been known to beef with the Insanes, but they beefing heavily with the Longos, man. The East Side Longos, we're going to touch on these dudes. They coming soon. We touching on them. But 20s is really beefing with them dudes. Now, we didn't seen the 20s be cool with the West Coast 80s. We seen a little basketball game they had about a year or two back. They cool with the West Coast 80s. We didn't seen them cool with a hood called Body O Pombe that we going to touch on. We didn't seen them also be cool with the Brick Boys and the Carmelitos, Job Log them. We done seen these dudes cool too. But even though these dudes hood is deep, the Longos is all in between their section, man. East side Longo is all mixed in with the rolling 20s. But something that really stand out in their hood is the murders. They had a Hispanic male killed on Long Beach Boulevard between 14th and 15th. Black female killed on Pacific and 10th. Black male killed on Pacific and 15th. Another Hispanic male killed on 15th between Pacific and Cedar. Latino male killed on Anaheim by the Taqueria by Locust. And another Latino male killed on 15th and Cedar. Man, it's cracking in this section between the 20s, Longos. And man, what's crazy, for y'all that know West LA, for y'all that know Midtown, we done seen mid-city stoners cracking in Long Beach, beefing with the Longos in 20 hood. Now, we just seen the Mid-City Stoners on like 17th and Chestnut and Henderson whacking the long goes out. Now, they also got an 18th Street faction out here, but uh, I'm going to be real with you. This is probably one of their lesser hoods between XV3. They're not really cracking in Long Beach like that, but we didn't see Mid-City Stoners get popping. But in all, Rolling 20s is one of the longest standing hoods in Long Beach. They a household name to this point. You can thank Snoop for that. These dudes is rocking yellow and black. Y'all know that. They not neighborhood crips, though. That's the thing. They part of that rolling car, but they not neighborhood crips. At number seven, now we're going to stay on the east side, man, and we're going to touch on maybe the most hated hood in Long Beach. Long Oak to that say. 
They got three sides to their hood, man. And all three of these sides pretty much get along. Not like the Wilmers, man. We're going to touch on these Wilmers when we get to Wilmington. But the Longos got it sold up in Long Beach. Yeah. Keep your eyes on the prize, nigga, chase that bag. I be outside in the field, got to keep that strap. Hood trophy in the set, put the set on the mat. Niggas folded under pressure, don't know how to react. In case you didn't know, bitch, I'm a hood trophy. Bitch, you trying to dome me, and they don't even know me. Niggas talking on me, and some niggas trying to dome me. And I always keep a totally now, I never buy my nolly. I'll knock a nigga over. This is probably the deadliest gang in the city. They beefing with everybody. They hood is tight-knit. They nothing to play with. They got east side Longo, north side Longo, and west side Longo. Now the Longos, y'all know, they known to be racist, man. They CK, PK, 3K, whatever it is that ain't Longo, they probably beefing with it. We done caught these dudes beefing with Body Pombre, like we told y'all, Mid-City Stoners, the Insanes, the 20s, the Brick Boys, Black Bandit, and the Asian Crips, man. All them Asian Crips from the Tiny Rascals, Asian Boys, suicidal town the long go is not sparing no enemies man they really cracking in long beach especially on the east side and in terms of territory these dudes gonna control most of it in long beach you know and it's like you know especially a hood like this where you see real unity in their hood and they beefing with other black hoods that could have been together you know what i'm saying they could have came together and uh and kind of had the same unity as them but you know you got the 20s banging one car, the Saints banging another car, Black Bandit banging a whole other car. You know what I'm saying? It's like the black gangs in Long Beach can't come together against the Longos, man. It's too much fighting, and that's what get the Longos power. You know what I'm saying? But just to keep it real, they beefing with other Thrasse hoods as well. In they hood alone on the east side, we didn't seen a Latino man stabbed on Atlantic and 6th. We didn't seen another Latino male killed on Anaheim and Molino. And sadly enough, man, a five-year-old boy was killed in their hood, Northside Longo, on California and 60th. These dudes' hood is still cracking, regardless of what y'all heard. Yeah, they may be racist, but they still jumping. We got to give them that. But a hood that's not afraid to go against these dudes, man, still on the east side. Number six on the list is Barrio Pobre, Tresa. Now, these dudes, man, we look, I'm going to keep it real. We had Linden Block on the list. Linden Block gangsters. They next to Esther Block. We had to scratch these dudes off for Body O Pobre. Not only that, but Body O Pobre was in Linden Block Hood beefing with the Longos. Man, and if y'all know anything about the east side of Long Beach, these dudes all the way down on 10th. We done caught these dudes up on 17th by Polly. You know, really cracking with the Longos, man, and really getting active with them dudes. But they really active, man, on 10th Street by that Big John's Liquor. They is extremely active over there. Now, 10th turns into Park Circle. We didn't see one of their homies get dropped over there on Park Circle. And another Hispanic male was killed on 17th and Linden. Now, that's that's Linden Block gangsters. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm going to be real. Linden Block and Esther, they wasn't out. You know what I'm saying? That's why they're not on the list. Body Opama, they outside. They playing ball. But we done also seen another black male killed in their hood on Daisy and Knight. I'm going to say BP holding their own against the Longos. And like I said, we didn't see these dudes also kicking in with the 20s. So not every Hispanic gang in Long Beach is racist, man. But I'm going to keep it real. It does feel like a real racial divide in Long Beach, man. Even though a lot of these hoods are really diverse with black and Hispanic gang members. Except for the Longos. You know what I'm saying? Now, before we hit that number five hood, man, again, y'all follow us on Instagram, man. Rap News Street Politics. Hit that sub button. Hit that like button. We made it out of YouTube jail. We beat that body, man. We back. Shout out to everybody that's been fucking with us. Y'all stay down with the channel. Y'all keep subbing. Keep wanting more content, man. We gonna keep putting it out. Fuck these buster-ass YouTube channels, man. Y'all know who we talking about. It's a lot of buster-ass YouTube channels that be doing some bunk shit. Trying to fuck the channel up. Rap News Street Politics ain't going nowhere. We're going to have most shit on the list for y'all. Some other shit, too. Not just this series. But again, like, comment, subscribe. Follow us on Instagram. Number five on the list. We still on the east side of Long Beach, man. Black Bandit Crips. Shit, talk about you, Papa. I don't you know, never got no chip. All my niggas get chip. Chip shit and we trip. Fuck around, spin his block. But I just go to knock his bitch. They don't want me in the game. Bandino too legit. Black boy who? Nigga, I'm from Black Bandit Crips. Now, this is a hood. That's kind of new, man. And how y'all can tell that? These dudes was rocking four times. 
not Deuce Time, they're not neighborhood, not Trey Time, they're not gangsters. Four Time, Black Bandit Crip, they on the east side, sharing their hood with the Longos low key, but they really cracking on 10. They tuck between the Fan Bam Crips, Sons of Samoa, they kind of close to the Asian boys, but like I said, they really entrenched with it with the east side Longos. But these dudes got some hitters in their section, man. And they beefing with Insane as well. You see, if I just spit on cub, bitch ass, nigga, come run a fade on Crip, we get a head up. Nigga, come on. I'm 10, mark your ass. They main clicks is on 7th, 10th, and Gaviota. Now, even though the Longos is one of their main enemies, we done seen these dudes beefing with the 20s, beefing with the Sains, beefing with Body O Pobre, and beefing with West Coast 8 up. He's still on the east side of Long Beach with it. So you can see the east side is really the most cracking side of the city. I'm not going to lie to you. And you can tell when you over there. Now, Black Bandit got a couple rappers that's coming up. Bandino, that nigga shit going up. We just seen uh, My Crazy Ro. He was in an interview with T-Rail. Long Beach got hella rappers coming out the city. These dudes from Black Bandit, though. Now, in their hood, we done seen a black male killed on Martin Luther King at 7. And that's low-key right outside Black Bandit. It's overlapping uh, East Side Longo and the 20s. But either way, these dudes trying to make a name for themselves, man. They, they trying to play ball. They trying to put in work. And they really trying to put that 4X on the map, man. And uh, for dudes in the city, from dudes that know the sections, that 4X shit crazy, man. It's crazy to hear it. You know, motherfuckers may not understand it but it's popping, you know. Other hoods may pop up in the future and be banging 4X. You know, we'll see. But again, these dudes have some hitters in their section. Now, number four on the list, we finally out the east side for a second. We going to West Coast 80s. West Coast 80 neighborhood crib. The only neighborhood crib set in Long Beach. And they on the west side of Long Beach, man. Shout out my nigga B2. We was hanging the game, banging about the park. Send a fast break, so you way young, go at the dark. If you gon' slide, you gon' slide, but do this shit smart. Come from the city by the sea, ain't nothing but sharks. I made some money and it made a lot of niggas change. Even the day ones I love started acting strange. I had to separate myself and get some out of range. Still, I can never leave the house. And like I said, man, the 8-0s is cool with the 20s. And they, of course, they beefing with West Side Longo. They hood is pretty much intertwined with West Side Longo. But you can catch these dudes for real on spring. 30 second, they got an apartment building back there on spring. These dudes is in their section. Now, aside from the Longos, they beefing with the Insanes like we told y'all. They, they neighborhood Crips. So, of course, they going to be beefing with the gangsters over here. And they also beefing with the West Side Sons of Samoa. Now, these dudes, Sons of Samoa, they got different hoods. We didn't put them on the list. But they over here in Long Beach, too. They got different sections in different parts of Long Beach. But they got a set on the west side, close to the 8-0s and the west side Longos. They beefing with the 8-0s, too. But also, these dudes is known to beef with Naughty Nasty and Black Bandit. But when we go to the west side, man, the main street over here is going to be Santa Fe. Everything is jumping right off Santa Fe on the east and the west side of that street. That's where you're going to find these hoods. We done seen a Hispanic male killed in the 8-0 hood off a of willow between Sunbright and Hayes and another Latino male killed on Santa Fe and Windward. Now we can't say if these is West Side Longo members that it went down, but again, this is in that section. And for the West Side Longo hood that's next to the 8-0s across Santa Fe, now they hood, it ain't that bad, man. You know what I'm saying? Like some of these hoods on, on this list, and this is kind of why we did this list last, because some of these, hoods, like I said, they far apart. Some of these areas, especially like Carson, they like, they really like kind of suburb, you know what I'm saying? But of course, it's gutter on the east side of Long Beach. It's gutter in the 8-0s. But like the west side Longos, they hood not as gutter as the east side Longos. I'm going to keep it real. Motherfuckers over there be trying to clean that shit up. Like you can see the hit ups on the wall, but that motherfucker getting painted over. You know what I'm saying? So west side Longo, they trying to hold their own against the 8-0s. But uh, Longos still nothing to play with. 8-0s ain't nothing to play with either. Now, just touching out of Long Beach for a second, man. Coming back west, when you coming from Long Beach, you gonna hit Carson. It's a hood in Carson, man. A pie roof set that not too many people be talking about, but they got a project that's really cracking. Number three, Scottsdale Pie Roof off Avalon and Sepulveda. They know we game backing up in here. You know, people, sorry to say, people getting killed up in here. 
you know, people getting robbed, people losing their lives, people going to jail, just not us, you know, the Mexicans, Samoans, you know, everybody. Everybody that come in Scottsdale, they think when you go to Scottsdale, it's, that's a bad place. It is a bad place. I ain't gonna lie to you, it is a bad place. Now we gotta start with something that, that's real close to Scottsdale's heart, Bethel, who got killed by the Tongans way back. But man, they, they treated like he just got killed yesterday. Scottsdale is active in this section and they still going up for their homies in this section. Carson has a lot of Pyru sets, but I'm gonna keep it real. Only a few of these dudes are super active. Scottsdale, they got a project over here off Avalon. And that's one of them projects I was telling y'all that you can't just walk up in almost, you know what I'm saying? When you pull up, you gotta tell these dudes like, where you going in there? You know what I'm saying? Now you can get up in there, but it's, it's low key gutter in that project. You know what I'm saying? It's popping. All right, I'm over here in the middle of Scottsdale Pyru. We're doing an interview and the security for this building over here, turn the camera this way. Asian man said that we can't shoot. We called the front office and the man said that I cannot absolutely do it. I, I, I cannot do an interview at all, especially of the Pyrus. Now, of course, they beefing with the one nine nose. We're going to touch on the one nine nose, but that's going to be an East Coast set in Carson. Scottsdale not fucking with them dudes. They also not fucking with Carson Thresse. Now, we didn't see Carson Thresse across Avalon in the Scotts Park Pyru. Now, in this section alone, in a little like five mile stretch, they got the Scottsdale's, Scott Park, Grace Avenue. And on Main Street, they got the West Side Pyru. These are all Carson Pyru hoods. But I'm going to say Scottsdale probably the one of the most active. Now, it's really popping right here on Avalon and Sepulveda because across Sepulveda, that's where the Wilmas start. We about to touch on the Wilmas, but Scottsdale popping right here inside their project. They had a Hispanic male killed on Fiesta and Scottsdale, man. These projects is still popping. And Scottsdale Pyru, not nothing to play with over here. Now, number two on the list, we're going to touch a hood that not too many people be talking about, man. And this is a hood who is set up similar to the Longos that have different sides, but they beef with each other. East side, west side, and north side, Wilmers. Look, west side gang sliding with this blue red. Right. I'm surfing waves that they can't bitch for a bed. Man down, man down, yo, come get your men. Right. We playing ball, battle up, we'll hold it. Gang sliding with this blue wave. I'm something lives that they can't bitch for a bed. Man down, man down, bitch, come get your man. We playing ball, batter up, we'll hold it. Now, Wilmers are in a city called Wilmington. It's right underneath Carson, straight to the west of Long Beach. But Wilma get cracking, man. These bodies are piled up in the Wilmers. Now, it's crazy. Like I said, these, this is all the same hood. They just got different parts of their hood, but they beefing with each other. As you can see, north side Wilma may hit up, east side come whack them out. North side whack them out. West side may come whack east side out. These dudes killing each other from their own set. Now, I don't know how this internal conflict started with the Wilmers, but man, it's like they can't even see enemies outside they section because they beefing with each other. Damn street maniac, I put the city on the map. Red rag flame gang, I bang the east on all gas. Nigga say he a shooter, left him slump on his back. Filled him up all the tears, it's that good I'll pack. Heard the eyes trying to rap, well that shit sound trash. Man, these niggas clicking up cause the face all gas. Flying in the GLE, we gon' slide back to back. Red rag flame gang, yeah, you know we all gas, huh? It's popping over here. And... They beefing with the Pyrus, beefing with the Bloods, beefing with the Crips. It's not safe in Wilmington for nobody. I'm going to keep it real. Like I said, multiple homicides in this section in the last couple years between PCH and Anaheim. Now, the Wilma stretch all the way from Sepulveda to Anaheim Street. This is a Hispanic Thresse gang. And in that section, man, we just seen a 12-year-old Hispanic male get killed over here on Denny. Another Latino male killed in the west side of Wilma's on Marina F Street. Another Latino male killed on L Street and Ravina in the West Side Wilmers again. And back in the West Side Wilmers again, another Latino male killed on Neptune and I Street. Now, I don't know. I can't say it's East Side slide on the West Side, North Side slide on the West Side. I can't say. But it's cracking in this section. And in Wilmington, these are the gangs that's in it. It's the Wilmers. Now, number one on the list, man, is a hood that y'all probably thought I was going to skip. But honestly, you can't skip these dudes. They forever gonna be active on Central and Delamo. One I know, East Coast Crips. Hey, we'll take your belt off, nigga. Nigga, you nigga, can have so it, nigga. Crit, nigga. Take your belt off, nigga. Take your shit off, nigga. Take your belt off, nigga. Now, in this series, this is one of the last East Coast hoods we gonna touch on, and they super active, man. 
But rest in peace to my nigga Dorian Holt. Got killed over on Price Town in their hood. They hood is jumping, man. Like I said, Central and Delamo, man. They historically will be right there at that gas station. I'm just gonna say this and I'm gonna leave this up here, EC Crib. Stop making shit up saying y'all done seen me places and saying, oh, this nigga Mousy did this and that on East Coast Crib. If y'all ever see me and y'all don't kill me, what you think gonna happen to you? Of course, they beefing with all the pyros in this city in Carson. They've also been known to beef with some Compton Crips as well, like the Nutties, Southside, Atlantic Drive. They not far from these hoods. Another one of their main beefs is Stevenson Village, man. Man, now Stevenson Village, we done seen some bodies get dropped in they hood, but I, I don't know how. You damn near gotta have a passcode to get in they hood. Stevenson Village is real suburbed up. One I know, man, they shit kinda look like the suburbs too, but again, Central and Delamo is cracking. Man, and to, but to wrap it all up, we gotta hit y'all with the Asian gangs in Long Beach, man. Just to, just to top it off, Asian boys, exotic family city Crips, suicidal town Crips. This is where uh, Stupid Young from. Married to the set, there's Nina who I'm creeping with. Came in with my Crips, but your bitches who I'm leaving with. And I've been squabbling with these demons, you should pray for me. Cheated on my bitch, but I've been thugging faithfully. This full nigga like a roommate, cause it stay with me. The Asian Crips is in the building, I brought game with me. All three of them hoods is tight knit. They on the east side of Long Beach, beefing with the tiny rascals, beefing with the Longos. Now these are some reputable hoods in Long Beach, man. Now they may not be riding all over the place, but these dudes is putting in work in Long Beach still. So we can't leave the Southeast Asians out, man. They really cracking in Long Beach too. Now the tiny rascals, y'all heard about them beefing with the Longos. Y'all know what Stupid Young and his hood be doing. These is these dudes right here. They well acknowledged in this section. And we done seen an Asian man get killed on 14th of Olive and a Latino man get killed in their hood on Anaheim and Lemon. Now this is close to ABZ hood, like suicidal town hood, but like I said, Exotic Family, Suicidal Town, and ABZ is all put together. They all fuck with each other on the east side of Long Beach. Like I said, man, we're going to keep hitting y'all with videos. We got more shit to go. This is Long Beach for everybody that's been asking. We still rocking with the city, man. We still got hella hoods to touch on. Rap News Street Politics. Follow, like, subscribe to this shit. Get on the Instagram. Fuck with us. We back.